Hi and welcome to another fantastic episode of All Cooked Up and I'm going to teach you a simple easy way to make delicious caramel custard. To make caramel custard you need 3 eggs, 3 cups of milk, 10 teaspoons of sugar and 2 teaspoons of vanilla essence. To make caramel custard the most important thing is to have a good caramel. So let's begin by making some good caramel. I've taken these molds, you can use any molds, big, large and a few spoons of sugar. Now sugar depends upon what you like, right? Coat the whole thing with sugar. Once done, we are going to now caramelize the sugar by putting it straight onto your heat source. I'll show you how. So I've put this onto the heat source. You can put it directly onto your stove as well where you will find the various processes of the sugar melting. If you bring the camera closer, you can see that the sugar has already started melting here. Now if you like it little extra caramelized, little more burnt, you can continue it or you can stop the process. On a stove, it will take much faster. This is an electric uh, gas stove, so it takes a little more time. But on a stove, it takes a couple of minutes only. Be careful, use some protective gloves because the sugar burn can be a horrible, horrible burn. And swivel the entire mold with caramel and there it's ready. So now let's get down to doing the custard or the filling for the caramel custard. Here I've taken in a big bowl, three cups of full fat milk. Please do not use skim milk, it won't turn out well. But if you are using skim milk, be sure to add about three spoons of milk powder. To this, I'm going to add the eggs. I always prefer adding eggs separately one by one because you never know you may get one bad egg and that will ruin your entire filling. Now whilst we are doing this, I have already set the oven to about 180 degrees so it's preheated when we get there. I am adding about 6 spoons of sugar. I don't like the custard too sweet but if you like it sweet enough, you can add more and we are just going to beat all, all of this together. Add the vanilla. You can add the vanilla at any point. Basically, I'd forgotten at the beginning and just remembered that I needed to add the vanilla. So I'm adding it now. But you can add it at any point. Caramel custard is predominantly made with egg. There is just no alternative to caramel custard without egg. So don't even think about it. Now, if you don't like the taste of egg too much, you can add more vanilla extract to the uh, custard so that, you, that it, it masks the smell of egg or you can put any other kind of flavoring to give it a flavored um, uh, caramel custard. So I think we are done with this. Now let's fill up those uh, molds that we had filled, made with the ca uh, caramelized sugar. And we're going to fill the molds with about three fourths of the filling because this the custard will rise a bit. Avoid the froth as much. Now the measurements that I've shown you are for about six to eight molds depending upon the size of the molds. I'm just doing four right now and this I'm going to pop into the oven which is already preheated at about 180 degrees for about 15 minutes. Okay, times to take out the uh, custards from the oven. I think they're just done well. Now I've let them cool down for about 15 minutes so that I can straight away remove them. So we'll try moving them out of the mold without, you know, plodding or plodging them. If they don't come out, just run a knife around. But that usually destroys the shape of the caramel custard. So let's just see how it works. And this is what the result is going to be. Now you see the liquid around? That's all the sugar that has melted all over again in the baking process. Now the more egg you put into this, the more firmer or stiffer you get. Now I'm not very big fan of egg in my desserts. So I didn't put, I restricted my quantity of eggs to three but you can add more depending upon your taste and what you like. So I'm going to dig into this delicious caramel and it's, if you see, this is how it's going to be after it has well set. Absolutely delicious because it doesn't give a very strong uh, taste of egg, not too much of sweet because I use a little less sugar and just the right amount of uh, caramelization. So good balance of a nice caramel custard. So I hope you enjoyed watching this on All Cooked Up. Do keep coming back for more such easy recipes. Don't forget to press the like button. Do subscribe to my channel and I will see you later.